have another tomato review and this time we're talking about indigo apple. This is another indeterminate antho tomato and it was bred by Brad Gates and it's an interesting one. It looks similar to the other indigo or antho tomatoes like the indigo rose. And they are supposed to be a cherry or plum type tomato so I am not sure why this one kind of looks like a beefsteak but it's definitely an indigo apple and it didn't cross with anything because I didn't even save seeds from last year's plant. And speaking of last year, I started this variety really late in the season, so I didn't get very many off of the plant, but I am excited to see some more this year with a lot of flowers on the plant right now. But I still can't say that it is super productive, and supposedly this variety is more disease resistant to things like blight, but clearly mine isn't. All that aside, I still decided to grow it again this year, and I'm going to go ahead and pick this one and let it ripen a bit more for a few days and then give it a taste test. Again, I didn't get that many last year, so my memory is a little foggy on the flavor. So it is two days later, and it definitely looks a lot more red and ripe now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it open. So this one is kind of an odd shape. I could cut it horizontally, but I feel like that might be a little bit trickier, so I'm just going to come at it from the side here. So yeah, inside it just looks kind of like a regular tomato, um, and then after tasting it flavor-wise, it is very fruity and sweet, and I do like the flavor. However, since it doesn't seem to be super productive, I don't know for certain if it will be on my list of tomatoes to grow again next year. I wouldn't not grow it again, but I don't know if I would grow it every single year, but I would definitely keep it in mind. So if you are interested in this tomato variety, those are just a couple of things to consider, but I would not dissuade you from giving it a try yourself.